I love developing orchards and getting them to grow, figuring out what we have to do to get these trees to keep going. There's always something new. One day you may be irrigating, the next day fertilizing or spraying. Um, it's just exciting. My name is Stetson Tucker I'm with K&T Ranch. We farm about 4,000 acres in the Central Valley. We farm almonds, walnuts, uh, corn, wheat, and uh, a few other commodities. I grew up on my farm my whole life. Uh, since four years old, my dad would take me out to the ranches and uh, you know, I've always had a passion for farming. It's what my grandpa did, it's what my dad did, and it's what I love to do, and I hope my, my kids will do the same. We have a micro and single line drip, and we turn the drip on to put fertilizer out to help uh, the growth of the trees. Uh, the micros run about 90 to 95% of the time. The drip, you can put your fertilizers down while the micros, if you're putting a dry fertilizer, a gypsum, a potassium, uh, it'll actually water it in, especially critical years like this where we're not getting any rain yet. That uh, product is just sitting there, so it's good to irrigate it in and push it down. More and more people are going to a dual line system. So they've gone through the whole cycle of flood irrigation to sprinklers, and now they've gone to double line drip to a single line and sprinklers, which we call a dual system. Works very well for the fertilizing, for the cover crops, compared just to the sprinklers or just the double line drip. So as these trees get older with the different varieties, you have early varieties and late varieties. When you're harvesting your crop, you can put water on your later stuff while you're harvesting your earlier stuff. We decided to go with Rivulus. They, they make a great sprinkler uh, with the tabs inside of them. They, they produce a great pattern and their, their filter station does a good job of filtering out the garbage that comes through the, the canals or, or through the, the water flow. What you're trying to do is not get the trees wet in the bark because it actually causes disease, but yet you still want to reach out and get in the root zone because once the trees mature, the roots are about two times farther out than the growth of the tree. That's why it's important to make sure that the water gets out to the hairline roots and the secondary roots. A known thing with, with Rivulus sprinklers um, that we've seen, uh, they're very easy to take apart, to clean. Um, there's not a whole lot of extra parts that you need. The guys can go through and spend just a few seconds in taking a, a sprinkler apart and putting it back together and moving on to the, the next one. With other sprinklers, we'll uh, spend multiple hours fixing sprinklers. The amount of labor you're spending through your field, it's just cost effective. The faster you go, the more money you save. Labor's hard to get in California. It's expensive to get. The less time that a farmer has to spend fixing sprinklers, fixing plugs, like that, changing things over, that's a big thing. When you are in young orchards, if you can get a more efficient drip to your tree in the root zone, push those roots down, get them to intake that water. They, the roots continue to grow, so does the tree continue to grow. That's very vital to growing a, a, a healthy tree. What's exciting is when you talk to neighbors and, hey man, your, your orchard looks good. What are you guys doing? What kind of irrigation are you using? There, there's something mysterious that you guys are doing to make your trees look as big as they are or as healthy as they are. That gets you going and keeps you excited. Just water and fertilizer. Like a true farmer. Can't give away the secret recipe.